Brad Roth from Hobscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of beer from Siren Craft Brew in Berkshire. It is a bottle of their Liquid Mistress Red IPA. There we go, it's just focusing. Fantastic looking artwork, I'd say, on this. 5.8% ABV. So, so tell me about the hops in there. No, I thought it did. Big thanks to the guys at ebria.com for sending uh, a batch of beers from Siren to check out. Ebria are a, a relatively new uh, online shop. They um, ship direct from the um, direct from a brewery. They curated a really interesting range of smaller breweries, artisanal breweries. You can get stuff from Colonel, Partisan, Kelly Experience over in Wales, Arbor down, sorry, Harbour down on the on the um, south coast, up in the north. You can get stuff from a new brewery in Manchester called First Shop to First Chop to name a few. They sell wine, they sell spirits, and they also sell Siren, which are one of the kind of breweries that have kind of impressed me this year. Bottles have been shaky, I've got to say. I've just reviewed two and I had to tip them away because they were an absolute mess. This is a really nice beer when I've had it on draft. Their, their draft has really impressed me as of late, as was the, sadly the one which was it infected, which I threw away. So ebria.com, that's double E B R A I.com. A bit of aggression, hopefully, a bit of yeah, a very low carbonation on these sarin bottles. It smells nice though. Bit in the glass, really opaque. I mean, it's it's not quite black, but it's very, very, very dark mahogany. Yeah, not, I mean, even for this kind of color, not great kind of clarity, but I mean, these certainly aren't filtered and they are bottle conditioned. I did leave the sediment in the bottle as it's not for me. Bit in the glass, I mean, a decent head of. Kind of like a, I mean, if you open up a, uh, it's like cinder toffee. It's got that kind of slightly burnt caramel quality to it. Kind of a creamy, slightly reddish tinted, um, creamy top. Anyway, let's check out the aroma. That's nice, is that? Red currant, cinnamon buns. Um, there's some similarity to something like Oregon Bastard, but not half as hoppy. There's definitely um, a mild kind of sarsaparilla note in there. Um, this is like a yeah burnt caramel, um, grapefruit juice, definitely loads of lemon, it's like quite a quite a sticky pine. Smells smells okay. You I mean this? I've, I've, the draft was much better, but it smells okay. Let's dive in and see what it's all about. Cheers. Oh. Thank goodness, carbonated. Oh, it's got a nice, quite a quite a low carbonation, but it's definitely there. You get a little bit of, you get a bit of recognition on the tongue of that. The flavour, it's really nice actually. It's got a kind of blood orange note to it. Once again, um, definitely kind of cinder toffee as it can have that appearance, but it's definitely got on, on, in the flavour. It's got that kind of yeah, kind of slightly burnt sugar note. Blood orange, without a doubt. Maybe kind of like a tabry, like a quite a, like a raspberry note. Kind of quite a dry grapefruit. Yeah, nice clarity to the to the um, to the palate. Really, for me, it's all about two quite significant flavors: this big burnt sugar note, and then grapefruit. Bitter orange, and this kind of maybe a um, kind of um, red currant. To be honest, the the the, ke the keg is six million times better than this. The bottle is decent, but I mean, I've I've had better, and I've had better. I've had better bottles of this. They are a little bit inconsistent on bottle. The um, draft is amazing, but unfortunately, this is a bottle. This is what I'm reviewing. So there you go, not great, but you mean it's not bad. So that's Liquid Mistress, 5.8% ABV. Get on ebria.com if you want to find out for yourself if you like this. Me, I'm going to stick to the keg, because it's much, much better. Red IPA. Check out ebria.co, um, sorry, dot com, E E B R um, A, sorry, I A dot com. 
check out their range. There's some fantastic stuff in there. Colonel Paisan, Siren do some fantastic balls. Maybe this just isn't one of them. It's okay, but it's not blowing my socks off. Anyway, Rob from Hobbsine.com. See you next time, hopefully, with something that's going to impress me a bit more. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.